here we are. We take something sweet, yeah, something that is sugary, sweet, and yummy, and we, we turn it on its head. We, we make it savory. So we're going to make uh, a, 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 little, a little snack, so to speak. Um, we're going to make sesame bars, and, and Joe's just going to quickly run through that process. Okay, so what we've got in there is glucose, um, butter, and, and sugar, and we're just bringing that up to temperature. 106 degrees, so we're using a, a thermometer there, okay? So quite specific, all right? It, it needs to be that. And honestly, a, 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 ki- a thermometer is, you know, $20 at a, a good kitchenware shop. So pick up one of them. We bring that to 106 degrees. Now, what we've got here is nigella seeds and sesame seeds. So again, the idea was that simple sesame bar, but I want to add the idea of nigella seeds because of their, their flavor and, of course, because of their color. Um, once we bring that to, the, to 106 degrees, we add the nigella seeds, sesame seeds, um, uh, flour, and milk, all right? And that gets all mixed together. We roll that out on a tray and we bake it off. And, and what we end up with is the most delicious, um, thin, crispy sesame seed bar, okay? So the next thing I want to do is add some tuna to, to that because I, I love the idea of I love Jap- I love I- the idea of Japanese and also I love the idea how I can bring that into you know modern Greek cookery. Um, the Japanese are, are, are clever people. So what we've got here is a beautiful sashimi grade tuna, and we're just going to dice that very simply. Okay. Fantastic. You're on, Chef. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> George normally doesn't let me talk. He does a lot of the talking, but, you know. I do do a bit of the talking. Um, so we're at, we are at 78 degrees there. And like George said, uh, we're just going to basically stir all of these ingredients in. Just give it another really quick cook. Uh, and then onto baking paper and spread it out really nice and thin. From there, it goes into the fridge, just to set, and then just bake it at um, 180 degrees. It only takes about five minutes to cook, and then you do. You end up with this lovely, kind of light um, sesame twee or sesame pasta lucky bar, George. Yeah. Um, so with our tuna, we've ta- taken this delicious A-grade tuna. You really don't need to do much with it. What we've got here is sugar, salt, equal quantities. And fennel seeds. I'm quite lucky that my um, my uh, my father-in-law collects wild fennel seeds to make salsicci. So I, I, I'm I'm fortunate to get a little jar of that. Um, so if you see a, a a man looks Italian in your garden stealing your fennel seeds, I apologise. Um, we allow that to cure for half an hour, and we literally just dry that um, clean. And that that's that's pretty much it. That, that goes onto our sesame bar. So just while George is doing that, um, basically emulsified this and then just onto the tray. It is, just be careful, it is quite warm. So you just want to just spread it out. And then bake it like that. Bake it in between the two, um, in between the baking paper, and you end up with that beautiful light. That's it, pretty much. So that goes into the fridge and then baked. That's brilliant. Done. Okay, so we've got our tuna, we've got our sesame bar. Um, We've got Greeks, actually, not just Greeks, but everyone has a version of rice pudding. Yeah, so the Greeks do risogalo, very simple, cooked rice cooked in milk. Um, a little bit of uh, cinnamon and sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've basically done that, but done it savoury. So you've got the flavour of rice. Rice, tuna, Japanese, but moving it towards that whole idea of modern Greek. Um, so we just do a couple of dots of that. And then finally, we've got a little bit of fennel pollen that we just dust over the top. We've got some bonito that's, you know, it's full of umami flavour, which 
okay, and that's dried. And then just some of this seaweed for a little bit of sort of chewiness. And when we talk about food, we talk about texture, and texture plays a, a massive part in uh, flavour. All right, so chewy, crispy, soft, and of course the puree. Um, and then finally, just to reconfirm the flavour of rice, we've got this toasted wild rice that is um, just really funky. It not only looks like, I don't know, what would you call these? Maggots? Uh, yeah, maggots maybe. <laughs> they look a bit maggoty, um, but taste wonderful. They're nutty and, and, and salty and sort of really delicious. That's, a, that's my version of a sesame bar. <laughs>